job and um, working really hard to finish their project, and we're really glad they're here. So, um, with that, we'll welcome the Universidad of, I can never say this, well, Americana? Sorry. Um, anyway, the University of Mexico City. Hi everyone, uh, we are the team from Universidad Iberoamericana, Mexico City. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. This is uh, Marifer Legaspi, uh, Paolo Messina, and Hatsumi Sato Matsumoto, industrial designers. And I'm Carlos Caen, interactive designer. Today we're going to talk about a work recognition system called e -tag. People want to feel what they do make a difference. They want to give their best and be the best at work, demonstrate their capacities. However, obstacles of all kinds may make work slow, boring, repetitive, in other words, tedious. This leads to discouraged and low performance. In 2006, more than half a million Mexican employees abandoned their jobs because they felt their actions were not significant. According to Ledo, Emotions and passions are the most vital parts of human existence. So, how can we apply this theory into labor work? Through recognition. Not money nor boss approval, only by improving the sense of belonging and self-esteem of every worker. Why? To help them want to raise their goals. We put together the most important factors that could take a person to self-motivation and satisfaction, therefore transcending personally through recognition. So, According to our surveys, expert interviews and research, service workers are the most common people in need of recognition for their work. These are people that are in constant contact with clients. Therefore, we decided to focus our primary target on Mexico City service workers. Imagine, more than 50% of Mexican employees are service workers. After sketching and evaluating options, we came up with a practical lens which turned into our final solution for the project, ETAG. So, we built a mock-up and a prototype in order to enhance interaction between the customer and the service worker. It is designed to be worn as an electronic name tag, providing immediate recognition in a visible way. Okay, so the e-tag is a personal two-part gadget. One made for the customer and another one made for the service worker. Armed with a simple interface, it allows customers to evaluate service workers based on their level of satisfaction. This is made with three logical symbols. This works through mini LED grid and sensors that allow the system and the users to select the different options by touching the surface. The LEDs are welded to a chip which contains the interface program as well as a Bluetooth system. Then the rating is sent to the worker's device. Depending on the client's rating, the user can receive different kinds of awards, such as virtual cups, hearts, and trophies. So, let us show you how this works. On stage one, the service worker personalizes the startup settings. Then he provides the service. When done, the user separates the client's gadget, turning the first screen into a queue mode, while the customer receives the three logical symbols in order for her to rate. When rated, the symbol is sent to the worker's device while the customer's gadget is blocked until next rating. Uh, in case of having good rating, the user can receive trophies. In case of having low ratings, he will lose hearts. <laughs> Losing all hearts resets the trophies won earlier. Now, uh, reconnecting the gadget leads to stage three, where the user can visualize the three last trophies won, as well as the number of hearts left. Later on, he can share his achievements with other gadget users. What do our users think about ETAG? Mm -hmm. 
la gente está este, valorando el trabajo. De que el cliente me diga a mí qué tal estuvo el servicio, sería excelente. ¿Sabes qué? A lo mejor a ti, dependiendo de la carita, que fue un poquito diferente, este, saber apoyarnos entre nosotros mismos para que dar un mejor servicio. La opinión tiene mucho que ver con el trabajo de como persona, y aquí es la opinión de la gente. Y la opinión de la gente habla de mi trabajo. Porque mientras yo me explique y la gente al escucharme se está convencido, va a estar más contento, pienso yo. Sí, es algo motivante. Y divertido, ¿no? Como premio, es como lo tienes en una vitrina. No, pues yo hice eso, yo no tengo que hacer mucha respeta a la gente. Y bueno, yo dije, a lo mejor otro compañero te puede decir, no, si, yo, si es una copa, yo también la voy a tener y cosas así, no se empieza la competencia. This is plan. For the implementation of ETAC, we detected several enterprises focused on different kinds of services, in which our system may be easily applied. The enterprise, specifically the human resources area, will acquire one ETAC for each service worker as part of the programs of human development and companies growth. So, on our next steps, uh, we're trying to gain sponsors to enable further iteration of the project and also to uh, perfect the system in order for it to be a fully functional gadget, right? Finally, ETAC will contribute to workers' motivation through the recognition of their work, activating labor life and generating an environment of gratitude and healthy competition among workers. So let's, let's motivate, motivate people. people. Thank, Thank you. you. consequences and so I wonder why uh, like people were getting that feedback immediately and then if they're getting it immediately anyway I don't understand why there's two parts to the gadget yeah uh, in the first place uh, we don't have a sad smiley right that's to uh, not to enable this this exactly this part and on the other hand uh, this is why it separates because when you make the rating uh, further on, the, the rating can be uh, seen by the by the service worker, and it's not it's not exactly immediate, right? So uh, that uh, in case if it would be immediate, that would be exactly uncomfortable, maybe. So the idea is to uh, let the service worker like go to the stuff and then rate, and then when you reconnect the gadget, you can see the the points or uh, achievements you have made. So you're trolls. still there right when you hand it back. Then, but when, when you hand it back, the, the rating is not there, right? So uh, that's, that's, that's the idea. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I love getting reinforced, so I think this is a very nice, lightweight way of doing that, particularly low tech as well. Yeah. So there's actually got a feasible ability to maybe get out there with some of your partners there, you mentioned. Um, one thing that... Um, I was thinking about was also combining it for, in other intangible, as it were, ways of giving positive feedback. Like after ten of these, do I then get a, you know, as you said earlier, an M&M &M or something? Because then I can share that with my family or someone like that. So I think a reinforcement schemes. Some people really like public. Some people like very private ones. Some like very tangible. Some like intangible. You know. So I think that you should should keep going with the um, scope of different methods of giving that kind of reward to people. Children work very differently as well on this too. I mean, yes. They're now in, in America paying for kids to get their, their homework given in, in Texas. And it certainly has improved their performance, you know. <laughs> so I'm um, just wanting you to expand some of that in the future thoughts. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, well, I admit I was also being a bit of a cynic as you were presenting it. Um, also, the idea that there's no sad smiley, you know, there's always rating inflation, so people will treat the flat one as sad if they don't get a full happiness thing. Yes. Um, I, there's, I, I think it's intriguing that you're going after sort of the, 
the personal satisfaction and sense of self-worth of the employees, there are a lot of people who would want to translate a, a good customer service score into some kind of rewards 